So I, I took it upon myself to play every instrument that I own, so my guitar is in the car and afterwards I'll be playing that in the parking lot. <laughs> so this is a piece by Eric Satie, and everybody knows it. It's a famous piano solo called Do Not Be Number One. Uh, you'll recognize it immediately. I, I've, I've known this piece since for as long as I can remember, um, and I've always liked it. And for a while, I had heard so many different versions of it. I heard an orchestra version, I've heard the original piano versions, I've heard string versions, that I actually forgot what the original version was, which was actually a very cool experience. Um, just that I loved the tune so much. So when it came to this recital, I thought of it immediately because the idea was we want to take tunes that we like and bring them to our brass. Um, so I thought of this tune and I wanted to arrange it for us and one of my favorite piano versions, um, and you all should look at this if you're interested, it's by somebody called Emily Pendolfi. She's a, a piano performer. Um, but she played it, not just the ink on the page. There, there, there's a stigma to classical performance, which is how well can I play what's written down instead of sort of how can I make this piece the most interesting and accessible. So she played this piece and I was totally in love with her version of it. So this is a this is an arrangement of, of Eric Satie based on a very specific performance that I've heard of it. Oh the other thing I should point out is we're playing in chronological order. Um, Satie was born in 1888 so that we have a long way to go in our concert. But anyway, in case you're curious, you're hearing it, not not only an evolution of of, uh, of what we think is cool, but it's a time capsule of music in general. So. There's literally no bigger difference than playing an alto trombone and then a tuba. <laughs> in case you're all curious. <laughs>